Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to another video. My name is Naveed Hussain. I am a divorce attorney in Chicago. It's been a little while since I've made these videos, but I thought it'd be important because a very interesting and special month is upon us, divorce month. January is known as divorce month. There's no other month in which divorces are filed as much as they are in January. So if you are thinking about divorce, I want you to think about these few things or ask yourself if you've tried these few things, before you call the lawyer, before you file for divorce. And number one is, have you tried moving? Okay, have you tried moving? Not moving out of the house. What I mean is that have you and your husband, you and your wife and your kids, have you thought about moving away from family? And I, this goes against a lot of what I preach and a lot of what I teach, you know, to stay close and build your roots. But sometimes, many times, the purpose and the, the driving factor of a divorce is actually external pressures. In-laws, families, friends, you know, keeping up with the khans, all of that. And so maybe think about moving away. Whether it's 30 minutes away, whether it's an hour away, or maybe even across the nation. Really think about this and really give it a chance. If you think that your marriage is crumbling because of external factors, try moving away. Number two is before you think about filing for divorce, have you done the Islamic method of divorce? Okay, we've talked about this in other videos, but Islam has a mechanism of divorce and reconciliation that makes you try to see if this is really going to work or not work. So for example, when you pronounce the first talaq, you're actually supposed to stay living together. You live together, maybe you're in separate rooms, you're in separate beds, but you see if as you're like facing each other, as you're crossing paths from each other, do you miss each other? Do you see yourself with them, without them? If you, in, if you have intimacy during that three month period, things are back to normal, okay? After that one, the first talaq you give, things reconcile, now you have another chance. If you say talaq again, now another three month reconciliation period starts, if physical, physical intimacy happens, you are now back together. It's after the third time. So this should be like a year process. You really should be thinking one year, right? Islamically speaking, before you get divorced. It's not irrevocable until that third time. This whole thing about giving three talaqs at once is an innovation. It's not part of our deen. It's antithetical to what our deen is teaching us. Give these reconciliation periods a chance and you can learn about it more in my other videos. But think about this before you file for divorce, inshallah. Number three is to actually separate. A lot of times what we see happening is that people are filing for divorce and they still live together. And I understand sometimes there's financial reasons for it. You know, there's some posturing that's happening to for the kids and whatever the case might be. But really think about moving apart. Okay, so maybe you go back to your mom's house. Maybe you go doc back to your dad's house, your sibling's house. But separate from each other, let things cool down a little bit, feel how life is going to be with the kids, how it's going to be for the finances. Because obviously, you know, we could have started this video about think about the kids and think about the finances. That's all there. But really divorce is about a new life. It's a very different life. Grass is not always greener on the other side. And so sometimes tasting that life might show you what it's all going to be about. So try separating before you file for divorce. Number four, before filing for divorce, think about a postnuptial agreement. We've talked about prenups, and it's really the same thing. It's an agreement that you and your spouse sign to talk about what's going to happen if you were to divorce. Now, the purpose of this postnuptial agreement would be to talk about this before the bitter end, right? What happens a lot of times is, Desis, Arabs, Muslims, as soon as the fight happens, you come to my office, crying and yelling and upset and now you just want to get back at each other and you're not thinking logically you, you're willing to waste all of your money and pay for my kids college rather than pay for your own kids college because there's so much emotions but having this post-nuptial agreement discussion well before that bitter end can help you think about okay what what is life going to look like and if we do end up divorcing whether it's six months down the line one year five years ten years You've done the hard work while you still had somewhat of a clear mind rather than waiting till the end. Number five, and I'm sure you've heard this hundred thousands of times, 
but really try counseling. You owe it to yourself, you owe it to your marriage, you owe it to your kids to try some type of external involvement, right? Whether that's your elders, whether that's a counselor, whether that's an imam, and obviously it takes two, and I, I, I understand that many guys don't wanna to go to counseling, maybe many girls don't wanna to go to counseling, maybe somebody cheated, maybe somebody's abusive. I understand that, but at the at the very least, if you can get to this page where inshallah our community can get past all of this craziness and you know divorce with kindness, is to really get counselors, therapist, imam, somebody else involved to help you, not only necessarily to try to resolve your problems, yes, of course, but to use them to facilitate a divorce and a fair divorce for both of you, rather than only using lawyers to divorce. There's other people that can help us divorce. Yes, lawyers you know, do this for a living and they make a lot of money off of you because of your animosity, by doing this, the you know obviously you have to get it stamped by a judge, but there's mediators, there's arbitration, there's alternative dispute resolutions that you can use before and after you file for divorce. So inshallah, I hope and pray that if you are thinking about a divorce, and of course there's going to be many many reasons why you you know should get a divorce and why it might be the best, but at the very least give one or two or three or four of these things a chance before you file for divorce. And if you're still thinking about divorce, well, you know how to get in touch with me, or inshallah, I hope that you have a local Muslim lawyer who's not necessarily looking to make money off of you, but is trying to help your family transition into a new stage and not destroy everything that you two have built, be it your kids or be it your wealth. So inshallah, until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.